Hello dear students, welcome to English class. Today, let's learn phrasal verbs. Let's read the sentences. We had to cancel the party because of his health. She is a difficult person to understand. After 10 minutes trying to get the answer, I stopped trying. I didn't feel good about the job offer, so I rejected. You can observe some words highlighted in blue in these sentences. They are cancel, understand, stop trying, rejected. Now, can we try to replace these highlighted words with some phrases without changing the meaning of the sentences? Here we go. We had to call off the party because of his health. She is a difficult person to figure out. After 10 minutes trying to get the answer, I gave up. I didn't feel good about the offer, so I turned it down. The students, in these sentences, the words call off, figure out, gave up, turn down are phrasal verbs. Whenever we use phrasal verbs in our speaking and writing, we sound natural and fluent. Now, let's go to the next slide. What is a phrasal verb and how it is formed? A phrasal verb is a verb followed by a preposition or an adverb. Its meaning is often different from the meaning of its parts. For example, get on. Get on is a phrasal verb. Here, get is a verb. On is a preposition. Let's frame a sentence. She is eager to get on in life. The word or the phrase get on means succeed. We can also say she is eager to succeed in life. But whenever we use get on, we sound natural and very sweet. Run away. Here, run is a verb. Away is an adverb. Let's frame a sentence. The visitors ran away with the match. The phrase ran away means one easily. Now let's explore the phrasal verbs. Here we have some phrasal verbs formed with the verb cut. Cut back, cut in, cut into, cut across, cut through, cut up, cut out, cut down, cut off. Let's try to understand the meaning. The phrasal verb cut back means to reduce. Cut in means to interrupt. Cut into means to shortening into parts. Cut across means to stop working. Cut through means to go through by cutting. Cut up means to cut into pieces. Cut out means to stop working. Cut down means to use less of something. Cut off means to remove by cutting. Now, 
Let's use these phrasal verbs in sentences. Cut back. If exercise is causing you pain, you should cut back. Cut in. Do not cut in on our conversation, please. Cut it. Knives easily cut into the cake. Cut across. If I cut across the field, it will save time. Cut through. We cut through the solid rock to build tunnel. Cut up. My mother cut up the onions and put them in a pot. Cut out. One of the plane's engines cut out, so they had to land with only one. Cut down. I'm trying to cut down on sugar. Cut off. He cut off all the overhanging branches in the garden. Now let's go to activity number one. Now find the sentences in the lesson from the diary of a new friend that have the phrasal verbs given below. List out the sentences in your notebook, read them and guess their meanings. After guessing their meanings, match the phrasal verbs in the sentences with their meanings. The phrasal verbs and meanings are given here. Now let's see what is activity number two. Here is a worksheet. Complete this worksheet and share it with your subject teacher. Thank you all.